Hello, this is Noreen from Joy of Cards, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please subscribe and click the bell, and you'll be notified when my videos come up. So, I'm finally getting to my December paper pumpkin alternative. So, I just took off the plastic wrapper. Let's take a look inside. All right, this is the bear one and I knew about that prior to so we got a big bear you are on my mind hooray some flowers get well soon and looks like some more flower things and then the color is rich razzleberry and then they give you a little sheet here on oh the new uh, embossing machine and some other new stamps coming up and let's take out the tissue and what do we got? But let's go ahead and take the plastic off the goodies inside. And what we've got here is we've got a whole bunch of dimensionals, which is awesome. And then these like um, die cut little bears, raccoon, koala bears. These are cute. The envelopes are real pretty. They're all the same here. And, oh, the card bases. Oh, I like the Rich Razzleberry. So this is where that color is coming from. And the gold, that's one of them. And looks like it's got some um, punch outs for the card fronts. These are all the same. And then here's another card base. And we've got this card base here. And then some sentiment tags and some more tags here. So I'm going to go ahead and make their cards, and which I don't see here. Where are their cards? <laughs> here are their cards. So I'm going to make their cards first, and I'll be right back. I'm back. So these are Paper Pumpkins cards. This is what they have on the instructions. And I put inserts on mine because I just don't like leaving mine blank. Now, before I show you my alternatives, and I made eight alternatives, I want to let you know that you can get a Paper Pumpkin subscription. You can also buy mine. My kit will include everything, including my alternatives. So I made eight cards plus theirs. You get 11 of my cards. You get the stamps, you get everything that I didn't use. And I have a tendency to not use a lot of their stuff toward the end. So this completed with all the cards, minus the Stampin' Spot. Man, I love these things. If you had, if you haven't experienced a Stampin' Spot, these are great for like your Stamparatus so you don't get your plate all dirty. So it will not have the Stampin' Spot because I hoard those. But this complete box with all my alternatives is $20 plus $8.20 in shipping. So anyway, here's my first alternative. Now, I didn't know what kind of bear this was because they're all supposed to be bears. Looks like a trash panda to me, but I don't know. So what I did is I took the stamp from this, uh, the set and I embossed it in white powder and then I um, did the uh, blending brushes on top of it. And then I put an inside. So this is alternative number one. Now, alternative number two, when I saw this guy, it looked like a seesaw to me. So I took just one of these little braid things, I guess that's what they call it. And I made a little teeter totter out of it. And then the inside looks like this. And now I'm gonna use sets from all my all my stuff here so this sentiment is from itty bitty birthday so um so i thought this one was really cute that's number two number three is this one i love the little fish and the fish i grabbed that from a uh, whale of a time so i just kind of fussy cut that out and made a little fishy and then took these other um die cuts and i used those uh, from Doc Dies, and so I made him, and then the Here For You is also from um, By The Doc, it's for Here For You, and then inside is just this, and oh, this is that um, gold, actually forever gold spec. I used that a lot on the inside of the cards because I thought it matched all this gold in the uh, paper they gave you. The next one is this, isn't that cute? I kind of, that's almost kind of my favorite. And I used that die from 
sweet silhouette. So I took Inspire and the tree from there and I hung them on top. And then the paper is from Oso oh Ombre. This is a new one from the new January to June catalog. So I thought that was really pretty. And then I put Life's a Beautiful Journey and that is from Beautiful World. So I grabbed that from that one. My fifth card, now this bear is from the stamp. So I stamped the bear and I colored him in and I used, uh, I believe, either cinnamon cider or soft suede. I wanna say I might have used actually all of them. And then I uh, colored him in with a uh, flirty flamingo. So, and oh, I think um, this one is ivory in the middle here. And then the paper is from In Good Taste. And then the sentiment is from So Sentimental. You know, I was looking for anything that had hugs. So Sending Healing Hugs is from this one. And then I die cut it with its coordinating die from um, Stitch So Sweetly. And then I used an oval uh, die here. And then the stamp from the... Uh, the pine cones and the little pine things are from, uh, the dyes are in the woods and winter woods. So that all kind of matched. And then I put that on the inside. So that's number five. My sixth alternative is really cute. Uh, this is also the bear where I stamped it and I colored it. And I put them on a little wobbly thing because I thought that was cute. The paper is from Ornate Garden because I thought the, the brown and the yellow looked really well. And then I took the sentiment, you're the very best. Well, it's actually from Berry Blessings. This is in the new catalog and it's right here and it's B-E-R-R-Y, but I turned that first R into an A. So it made it a Berry Best. So that was kind of cute. And then the um, Bumblebee, I stamped from Garden Wishes and then die cut it from its die. So that was cute. And then I stamped them in here as well. So that's number six. Number seven is more of a blending one. I took their pre-cut bear. And when I was doing one of the other cards, this one right here, I loved how this looked. And that fits so well because the, the ones that come with the kit have that cut here that you can stick things under its arm. So it fits so well there. So I stuck them under there. I put them up on dimensionals, but this is all sponged. And I took shimmer white paper and I took Pacific Point Night and Navy in black. And I used the brand new blending brushes from Stampin' Up! And I, I did this. And then I also took some white, some, some whisper white, and I uh, put a little bit of water in it. I also mixed in some frosted white into a little little dish and took a, a fan brush and made all the little stars there. So I thought he was kind of kind of cuties out there in space and I made it real plain in here. So this is number seven. This is my favorite one. Um, what I did is this is a uh, limb line card. So you cut it nine by eight and then you take that eight side and you score it at four and just layered up some garden green and the black. And then I took the, um, there's two branches on here from Poppy Moments, Poppy Moments. And there's one that is bigger and there's one that is thinner. So these are the thinner ones and this is the thicker one. And I made two of each. So the first one I did, in, uh, I cut one in soft suede and then I cut one in garden green. And then I took the, uh, the one in soft suede and cut off the leaves. And then, so you only had the branch and then I glued it on top of the garden green. And then I also took um, the light and dark uh, granny green and also the light and dark of uh, soft suede and I did the branch and I did the leaves in there. So I gave it a little bit more of an interesting texture. And then the one he's hanging on to is the one that's bigger. See, these are, are two different things. And I did the same thing, soft suede, granny green, cut off uh, the leaves and glued them together. So that's how that turned out. And then this uh, sentiment tag is from Potted Succulents. That's a new one. And then also the sentiment 
sending a love and hugs is from frame for you so i really like how this one turned out and then the these came with the kit and and so that's it so you see how i use so many of the kits i are the stamp sets that i already had and the dies i already had and made so many i just love that this is seesaw anyway i just really kind of love how everything turned out so there's my paper pumpkin from december thanks bye